Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, everyone? Your boy here, the Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bombersire here with you. Your personification of excellence when it comes to uh, baseball talk here on YouTube.com. Happy Monday, everyone. So, the Yankees, they're off today. Yup, so they will be playing tomorrow against the Twins at home. But I wanted to talk about this story here. And, of course, you know, I did mention it a little bit yesterday. So... I've been anxiously waiting two important moments to happen. One of them is about to happen. And it's been a long time coming. We've all been waiting for the announcement that Garrett Cole, tomorrow, is going to start a rehab assignment with the Somerset Patriots. And the first of two important events is finally here. What is the second important event? We'll get into that another day. So, Garrett Cole, as I mentioned, um, with these rehab starts, he's targeting end of June to come back. And Aaron Boone, if you do believe what he says, has said that Cole will pitch in at least a couple of rehab games and I would expect the Yankees to exercise caution and use most of the 30-day uh, rehab clock to make sure that Garrett Cole is stretched back out and ready to play in the big leagues. And I can be a, a pretty impatient person. You know that. With all of the rants that I've done about this team, I mean, we really haven't done a lot of rants on the Yankees this year, um, but I do think that the Yankees have made all of the right moves with Garrett Cole's rehab so far. And I also think that Cole getting closer to a, to a return, it's a good thing for the rotation because we know that Clock Smith, He's on the IL with a lat strain. Um, is likely going to be out until August. But that shouldn't make them try to speed through the rehab assignment. Because the Yankees, they've done well without Garrett Cole. The starters have really been a strength for this team. And there's no need to make these hasty decisions. Of course, you know, sweeping the Giants yesterday, that was fun. And Cody Petit. Whoa! Oh, that's another Cody. Cody Rhodes. But Cody Petit. If he has a disastrous outing, they may feel some pressure to find another solution fast. But for now, there's no reason to believe that Cody Petit can't hold down the last roster spot until Garrett Cole returns to the lineup. And the New York Yankees have the ability right now to let Cole ramp up while giving Clock Schmidt the time to rest. Which, by the way, he definitely needs. And a sense of normalcy is on the horizon. And I can't wait. Because we're all happy with what we've seen so far from the Yankees. I'm happy to see the Yankees competing with the Baltimore Orioles. I'm happy for the fact that the New York Yankees are three games up on Baltimore. Because I really didn't expect to have a three-game a three game lead at this point of the season. And you look at the rest of the American League East. They're in the basement, but hey, I'm going to take it. You look at it. Boston, they ain't doing shit. Uh, Tampa Bay, they're in the basement. But Toronto has really been the biggest disappointment. And Toronto's really the big talk in the world of sports right now, especially the world of baseball, because of the fact that, you know, are they going to be sellers? At the trade deadline. Are they going to trade a Bo Bichette? Are they going to trade Vladimir Guerrero? 
and Jordan Romero. But it's definitely felt strange to not have our ace throwing in meaningful games. And we're getting closer to that. But anyways, I'm ready to see Garrett Cole come back to, to the mound, pitch it in Yankee Stadium. Um, hang in there, guys. Uh, it is June 3rd, so we're almost four weeks into that. But as long as we get there without setbacks, I'm going to be a happy camper. Tomorrow is step one. Step two is coming soon. And it's going to be worth the wait. So let me all know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Um, it's your Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bomb Messiah. I'm out. Peace.